Today we're going to be taking a look at the installation and customization of the fish shell. What is the fish shell? Well, um, first of all, it's a new, new-ish um, shell over bash or shell um, or Z shell for that matter um, that has some customizations and some pretty cool features that uh, you may want to check out. So in this, we're going to go through the installation of fish and how you can go about customizing it. Um, we're going to be using Oh My Fish um, as the ability to be able to um, theme it and do some other things. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so um, I wrote up a, the, the steps here and I'll make these available uh, in the description. Uh, but first and foremost, you want to make sure that you've got your uh, your repos updated so everything is uh, ready to go. So then we'll go ahead and use our, for this matter, we're using uh, Debian, but this would work on any other like Arch-based Linux that you could uh, use Pac-Man instead um, or any other like Fedora, uh, any other package managers. Most of them have fish available. If not, uh, fishshell.com has um, the ability to add repos uh, if you need that. So let's go ahead and we're going to install fish here and perfect. Okay. And so to go into the fish shell, we just type in fish. So now we are in fish and I don't know if you noticed that, but so it has this greeting here. So if you want to remove the greeting, you can just put in that command. Now it no longer has that greeting. Um, you know, from this point forward, all the rest of it is, um, not mandatory. Uh, completely optional at this point. At this, you have fish, you have the ability, you can see um, it will start to auto complete. So if I type in L, it does ls-la. And if I just use the arrow key and move it over, it's gonna do that. The other th nice thing is um, it has shortcuts built in. So like LA um, will do ls-la as well. Um, so anyways, you could uh, do like uh, nano, uh, let's see, let's look at our bash um, RC here. And you can see that it, it uh, auto completes and no problem. Um, but we need to do, we're going to do some other things here first. So um, to install Oh My Fish, there's a couple prerequisites um, that need to be installed. So if you don't have curl, installed already you need to install curl and then git if you don't have git that that's going to be used to uh, pull down the repo for uh, oh my fish and then powerline fonts so powerline fonts are um, needed for some of the themes uh, that you can install with oh my fish and that will be some of the modifiers that if you've ever used powerline before it modifies uh, with some characters that aren't available uh, normally. So let's go ahead and let's install all my fish here. We're going to use this curl command. And if you're not comfortable with this, there is a, a more manual way to do it, to not pipe it directly into um, fish so you know exactly what's going on. And if you go to the uh, get all my fish, um, it will tell you how to do it manually. But we're going to go ahead and do this. I trust it. I've used it before. No issues. So it's going to clone that repository. And now we have Oh My Fish installed. And you can see it changed up our prompt a little bit here. And so we're going to change it to something else. So I'm going to install, um, first and foremost, let's, there's tons of themes available. You can see all these themes that you can install um, for Oh My Fish. And they do different things with the um, prompt and um, different little uh, characters and cues that you can use um, and it, it makes it kind of cool and interactive and nice. Um, but for this sake, we're gonna install the ocean theme. And there we have it, we have ocean theme installed and you can see it modified my prompt here. The next thing I wanted to talk about was, so say let, let's say you like the fish shell and you want to change your shell permanently, you can change your shell from bash or Z shell or whatever you're using um, with this command and it will make it so you will now have that as your default um, shell. 
Now, if you wanted to um, do some custom uh, things in there, uh, for instance, like equivalent to like your bash RC that you would use in bash, um, you can create this config.fish file. And I use micro as my um, editor. So whatever editor you use, whether Vim, Emacs, Nano, whatever, replace the micro with whatever your editor is. And this will create our ability to create aliases and other things. So for instance, uh, I have a server that I SSH into all the time. So let's uh, let's do do that real quick. All right, and then, oh, what am I doing here? All right. And so it looks like that. Yeah, so that will create that alias for us. And that will take me into my PyHole server. Um, if you don't know what PyHole is, maybe we'll do something on that later. Um, let me know. And then uh, if you wanted to do something like NeoFetch, so whenever it pops up uh, you, our terminal, you can see NeoFetch there. So let's go ahead and save that and quit. And so we'll clear that and let's just run fish again. Now you can see it pops up our NeoFetch. And if I type in PyHole here, it should allow me to go into that server. There we go. And so anyways, um, this was just a quick little run through of what um, fish the fish shell is and how cool it can be. Um, kind of unique. I, I really love the autocomplete and that that's something that uh, I've found useful. And also the customization, customization of the prompt looks really nice. So anyways, that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.